Hello, welcome back to Fires Gaming. My name is Ben, and today we're going to continue on Brass Restoration. So last time out, we got our new hand attached. We started to return to music. Uh, we furthered our relationship with Yoshine, as well as inadvertently uh, wound up alienating Minori. So let's go and pick it up where we left off here. It's bright outside. It's morning now. I couldn't sleep well last night, but I have to face that it's a new day today. And I also have to face what happened yesterday. Minori won't come today. Probably not ever. But I still have Senpai. I'm not alone. Senpai can't take Minori's role, but I guess that's a fortunate thing. But the peacefulness Minori brought up until now, it wasn't an easy price to pay. What have I been striving for? Was it all for my sake? That's wrong. For myself. I can't deny that it's my top priority, but it's not just that. My mom and dad were pleased when I hit some pans with drumsticks when I was young. I didn't know why, but I wanted to please my parents and kept on hitting the fans. My mom and dad are already dead now. But I know I wouldn't have been able to continue music if it didn't please Minori, Senpai, Kori, Kuro, Spomichan, and everyone else. I can work hard because there are people that would be pleased by my hard work. People eventually fall due to vanity if they only work hard for themselves. And if nobody is happy about my music, the music would be meaningless. Music has meaning only if it moves someone's heart. If that's not the case, it's only enumeration of sounds and beats. The support between people that you normally can't see, I can see clearly now. If I can't fix my relationship with Minori, the best thing I can do is to keep it from getting worse. But can I prevent such a thing? Am I being too conceited? Even with Minori's case, even if it was an accident, it wasn't something I could have prevented from ever happening. Senpai and I are lovers. As long as this fact is true, it is impossible to prevent this incident with Minori. As long as my relationship with Senpai is there, I'm hurting others without knowing it. There is no love that won't hurt somebody. I know that is a fact. But I was thinking with the optimistic view that I could mend those wounds even if people got hurt. In an ideal situation, Minori could accept my relationship with Senpai and still come to pick me up in the morning. We'd go to school together, go to the club together, and fall asleep in class together. Well, I don't know about the last one. But games and books glorify such things, probably because that's the writer's ideal world. They hope that people can live happily if all love could end like that. But an ideal is just an ideal, and it's not almighty. The best I can do is get rea uh, reality as close to the ideal as I can. I can try my best. I should at least do that. I stare at my cell phone. This is the only way for me for right now. I am sure Minori won't pick up a call for me. I decide to text her. All done. I explain the misunderstanding in a long message. Let's go to school. I feel depressed, but I've done everything I can. I can't be depressed all day long. I head to school by myself. I walk silently, just walking. I walk faster than usual. I look down while I walk. Minori, who I always saw when I looked down, is not there. I can only see the road under me. I walk while looking at the road. I want to tell myself that Minori isn't there anymore, and then I'll never see her again. I hear a car coming. I heard this sound yesterday as well. I turn around and see a limousine slow down, and the rear door opens. Yoshi Senpai's there. Did you clear up that misunderstanding from yesterday, Ryuku? I'm really sorry to have caused it misunderstanding. Senpai looks worried. I might have complained to Senpai if I didn't see her like that. I might have criticized her for acting without any common sense. But I can't say anything to her while, while she looks that sad and worried. It's fine, it's not your fault. You don't have to worry since it's not like I didn't see this coming. That's right, let's at least protect my bond with Senpai for now. Even if I lie, I can just build the truth on top of it. The past will be meaningless unless I can look back at it. Do you want to ride with me to school? I didn't want to go pick you up, but the thing is today. Yeah, I guess I'll do so. I can't forget about Minori if I keep walking on this road. So I decided to go Senpai. I'm silent. I know that I should say something to her as her boyfriend, but I'm in no condition to do so. Senpai must have felt that too. She looks at me worryingly, but she doesn't open her mouth either. And the limousine keeps heading for school. Huh? Isn't that Minori over there? Minori is walking while hanging her head, but I can't tell Senpai about her. We drive past Minori. Minori sees me as we pass her. I don't see any anger or jealousy in her expression. I see acceptance, sadness, and envy in her expression. It's a sad face. I feel guilty thinking that I caused this, but I can't care about it now. I look away from Minori and look at Senpai. Senpai looks worried and she breaks the silence. You 
don't have to talk to Minori-san, you should still be able to. So, Senpai noticed too. It's fine, Senpai. This couldn't have been avoided. It's just that it came early. I messaged her, so the misunderstanding should be cleared up now. If she's acting that way, it means she gave up. I won't say anything if you say so. That's right. This is fine. This is fine. I ride with Senpai to school. Bell rings. School's over now. I head to the club. I hear the sad melody of a flute from inside. The sadness isn't from the song. It's from the heart of the one playing it. I go inside and find out it's Minori who's playing. Minori, did you get my message? That's the only thing I can say. Yeah, I'm sorry I got mad yesterday. It's fine if you understand. I'm sorry too. I could approach her right here. I can't love her as a woman, but it's not like I don't care about Minori. But I stop myself. Do I want to feel relief at the sacrifice of others? I can't oppose those words. I can't be kind to both Senpai and Minori and not choose one. It's useless to think now. Let's practice. Keep telling myself that my happiness can't be taken away by anybody as I pick up my drumsticks. Depressing sound. This isn't what you call good music. The sound is still inconsistent. But it's better than yesterday. I should continue practicing. One more time. But -da 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 -da. But what? It can't be. I feel a chill run through me. One more time. I managed to hit a paradiddle. But -da -but -da -da -but -da -da. Damn, one more time. Damn it, one more time. No way. Is this the limit? It can't be. I hold up the sticks one more time. The sticks, uh, the stick rolls out of my hand from fatigue. So this is the limit, even with the artificial hand. I didn't practice a drum all these years for nothing. I know intuitively that I can't get any better. I realize that skill can't make up for not being able to use my wrist. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. No way. Sadness causes tears to flow from my eyes. Oh, you can, you can't push yourself. You should rest for today. You'll get better if you practice tomorrow. Please, keep working hard. It'll make me happy if you can become a pro. Senpai gives me kind words with a kind smile like always, but she isn't fully understanding me. Senpai is assessing me with wishful thinking. I can't answer her expectation now. I have to tell her about it. It seems I'm at my limit, Senpai. I'm really glad that you've helped me out this far. But it doesn't seem like I can give you good results anymore. I'm sorry. Oh, please don't complain like that. You'll still get better, so please try again tomorrow. It's alright. Senpai smiles. She made my pain go away, and every time I saw the smile, it motivated me. But it's different this time. It's rather irritating to be shown such kindness without her understanding me. It can't be a limit. I know how you feel since I'm playing music as well. It might be hard on you right now, but I'm sure you'll be compensated for it later on. I also had some so I practice flute. Huh. Anything can be accomplished with time, huh? But I realize it's an irresponsible way of thinking. I'm not a kid anymore. I already know that there are many things that are impossible with just pure effort. I even got invited to be a pro out of school. So I know I've already tried everything I can. It's proven that I can't do this. Don't miscalculate my skills, Senpai. I want to try too, but there are things I can't do. There's a small amount of anger in my voice towards Senpai's insensitivity. I need you to become a pro. I believe that we can be happy if you become pro. Then we can... Cut it out, Senpai. I yell at her. Huh? Senpai looks like she doesn't understand why I yelled at her. I feel guilty seeing that, but I keep yelling at her out of anger. You don't understand anything at all, Senpai. What makes you say that you want me to continue music? Because if you can continue music, you'll turn to the way you were, and we can be happy together. You don't understand at all. We can be happy if I can continue music? You want me to turn to music just because you're helping me? What do you think my sufferings are? You think you know everything about me just because you also like music? Huh? Being conceited, Senpai, aren't you thinking that you can save anybody if you try your best? I'm not your toy. I don't want to be loved by you only in the way you want to. That's not what I intended. Senpai denies it with tears in her eyes. Really? But I won't let you say you never thought so. Long silence fills the room. Nori, Cory, and Spomi are all silent. Senpai hangs her head. Kodoro is just watching us with a scary expression on his face. Do you have anything to say back to me, Senpai? Kori and Minori come to me, maybe because it's getting awkward now. That's too much, Senpai. 
somebody didn't intend to hurt you, Yuku. It seems like everyone in this room thinks I'm the bad guy. This is bullshit. I'm going home. Nobody tries to stop me. I leave school. As I walk home, I think back to what happened today. And I guess I can't go back there anymore. I'm not shameless enough to go there again after what happened, but this isn't good. As my arm is at its limits, there's no more reason for me to continue music. I feel better thinking that way. Since it ended like this, I can end music with no regrets, so this is all good. I lay on my bed as soon as I get home. I want to rest a bit. What should I do starting tomorrow? I'm calm enough to think about such things. It's not like music is the only thing in my life, so I still have hope to live. So this is all fine. Is this really fine? I ask myself. Many things were lost today, not only my future. Since I'm calm now, I can think back to what I've done today. But what did I swear this morning? I tried to protect my bond with Senpai since my bond with Minori is broken. Bonds can be broken in an instant. I'm the one who said that. I certainly didn't like what Senpai said to me, but I certainly broke my own oath. I broke my bond with Minori, and I also broke my bond with Senpai. And the bond with everyone who is watching. Why did I try to continue music? Why did I fall in love with Senpai? I... My mind goes crazy like it did this morning. Damn it. I punch the wall with my left hand because I'm pissed off at myself and since things aren't going my way. Big scars left on the wall. As if to show my mind, I'm repeating the same thing. Look at my artificial hand. What was the point of this? Just to show me a happy dream for an instant? To prove my bond with Senpai? Or... Maybe this hand is death. To break the bonds with all the people I know. I don't want to think about anything. How can I not think about anything? I guess I'll go to sleep. I bet I won't feel better even when I wake up. Even if I did feel better, others wouldn't feel any different. I have no bonds left with anybody now. I close my eyes to run away from that fact and go to sleep. Thursday, March 20th. Where am I? Darkness surrounds me. Darkness is everywhere. Darkness like my mind right now. I walk aimlessly, like my life from now on. A vague figure appears. I go near it. Minori? She has her hands on her chest, and she looks like she wants to pour out her sadness and anger onto me. You idiot. I can't hear, but I can hear it in my heart. I only acted on my feelings. I say so with a bit of doubt. But at the very least, I think this is the best option I had. What happened as a result? Minori says so with composure. Well, we can't be good childhood friends anymore. No way, we can still... That's your argument, right? It's all because of you, senpai. Minori, I don't care about you now. Hold on, Minori. Minori floats away from me. I keep running after her, but I can't catch up to her. I get exhausted and collapse onto the ground. Why is everything backfiring? What did I do? I can't think about Minori, and I think about the misfortunes that occurred to me. The fact that I lost my arm. The fact that I had to give up music even after I got this artificial hand. The fact that my bond with Minori is broken, and my bond with Senpai that I tried to protect so much is broken. I have nothing now. I want to melt into this darkness. I won't have to think about anything if I do so. The instant I think that, my body melts into the darkness. My limbs are covered in darkness, and it covers my whole body. It covers my mind, and I can't think anymore. That's right, this is good. I don't want to think about anything. I want to stay in my own world. I close my eyes. Light shines into my eyes. Oh, man, they're right after everything turned out the way I wanted. I open my eyes after complaining. The world that meets me is a bright world and not a dark one. I don't want to see such a world. I don't want to go outside. It's still early, too. I try to get back into bed and get away from reality and my dreams. Why aren't there dreams I can stay in forever? I have to face reality, no matter how cruel it is. I know it won't solve anything. I guess I have to go to school. I really don't want to go. It's like I'm going there just to suffer, but I have to go. I'm a student there. I have to attend classes. I have to go. I don't want to go. Somebody's waiting for me now. There's no need to go. There's nothing even if I go and graduate. There's no reason to go. But I can't just sleep thinking about how I want to mend this situation, about how I want to run away from all this. I get up. 
Looking at the clock, it's almost time for me to leave. I didn't set the alarm yesterday either. I decided to get ready to go to school. Even though I'm running late, I prepare at the same speed as always. No, I'm preparing at a slower pace. It's proof that I want to stay away from school. I slowly cook breakfast, slowly eat it, and leave my house. And I slowly walk to school. I won't have to see Minori this time. I was sad about Minori not being beside me before, but I'm happy about her not being beside me now. And I shouldn't see Senpai either. I can't hear a limousine coming. Because she should already be at school by now. This is all good. Even though I'm walking slowly, I eventually arrive at school. They scolded me for being late, but I don't care about that. Of course, Minori didn't ask me why I was late. I try to pay attention during class for once. But I don't get what's going on at all since I was always sleeping through class. I don't get it. Since I don't understand what's going on in class, I don't understand how I feel either. And I also don't know what I should do from now on. Little ends. I didn't talk with Minori at all today. Guy asks me about that. <laughs> That's rare. Are you and Minori fighting? You guys didn't talk today, right? Did you cheat on her? You're pretty bad if you're cheating on such a cute wife. Yeah, I know I'm bad. And he must have been surprised I acknowledged it. He must have realized it was a bad question to ask and he leaves without a word. Let's go home. I decide to go straight home. I exit the classroom and head out of the building. I go quickly so that no one will stop me. And I try to pass by the flower bed in front of the building. The place where I met Senpai. I can't even look at that place now. It feels like I'm admitting defeat for cutting my ties with Senpai if I look there. I go out from the gate looking away from the flower bed. I didn't lose. I won't care about Senpai from now on. I can do fine by myself. I wouldn't have yelled at Senpai if that wasn't the case. I'm fine. Fine just by myself. I convince myself so and continue my way home. On my way home, I walk slowly. I try not to think about anything. Ah, this is boring. Let's think of something fun. Let's see, something that happened recently that was fun. Ah, damn it. I can only think about Senpai. Senpai's waiting for me. I think so somewhere in my mind. Damn it. I have nothing to do with her now. Senpai has nothing to do with me. Damn it. Damn it. I start to run. As if running away from thinking about Senpai. But the thought follows me. Please reconsider, Yuku. No, I... I want to abandon you. It doesn't matter. I... I'll be waiting for you. Don't concern yourself with me anymore. Start to run full speed. I can do something once I get back to my house. Then I don't have to think about such things. I want to run away from memories of Senpai. And from my regrets. I see my house now, but there's someone standing in front of it. I can tell it's a girl wearing the uniform from my school. And who could it be? Is it Minori? Or... Senpai? Maybe I'll click Minori. That must be Yoshine Senpai. What should I do? How can I apologize to Senpai? But I have to go home. I also know that I can't be running away forever. He's probably waiting at my house so I can't avoid her like I'm doing at school. I guess there's no way out of this. Senpai. I walk towards Senpai. I was waiting for you, Ryukun. Senpai has a hopeful look amidst her sad expression, as if to cling on to her last hope. I wanted to talk to you, Ryukun. Her sad face and her hanging head blame me. There's no reason for me to talk to you, Senpai. Even if you don't, I have a reason to. I don't want to hear it. Please, please listen to me. But I can't do that, because... But whoops, because I don't deserve Senpai's kindness. I pass by Senpai and unlock the door to my house. Ryukun, please. Grab, release. Senpai grabs my left hand, but suddenly lets go. I don't get her action, but I just open the door and go inside. Senpai doesn't follow me inside. She must not think it's right to barge into someone's house. Hmm. I try to lock my door, but I hesitate. It would be really mean if I do that. It will be ignoring Senpai's kindness in the worst possible way. I feel like my value as a human would go down along with the lock, and I stand there in front of my door. 
I look outside and Senpai is still standing there. And we stand still, both of us, silently, for a long time. Ryukun, you're not there, right? I don't reply to her. You don't have to reply, so just listen to me. I think I was acting rashly. I thought that I knew everything about you. I just went ahead with my idea to try to get you back into music. I can only picture you playing music because you were the most lively when you were playing music. But that's all wrong, right? I didn't look at you as who you were, the one here without music, so I want to apologize. Don't apologize. Senpai. I like everything about you. I'll keep apologizing until you forgive me. I'm sorry. Senpai has a tearful voice by the end. The brief silence. I'll go home for today, but I'll keep apologizing until you forgive me. Goodbye. Would all my problems be solved if I stopped Senpai here? Maybe. But right now, I want to think for a bit. I know this will get harder to solve the longer I wait, but I think I shouldn't rush to conclusions. I go back to my room and lay on my bed. I think about what I should do now. How should I act towards Senpai? I think I liked Senpai with the precondition that there was hope for me to continue music. I relied on Senpai to heal my wound, and I liked her since she devoted herself to me. Senpai said she likes me, even if I can't play music. But what about me? Did I really like Senpai? Did I like her since she devoted herself to me? I'm not sure, but I think I like her. Well, what should I do now? I can't see an answer to this question. I fall asleep after a while. Friday, March 21st. It's morning. I don't want to go to school. There are a lot of reasons for that. Even if I get back to the other senpai, I, still, I can't hope to live without music. I know it's a fortunate thing to be able to rely on senpai's love, but even though she's kind to me, I still can't forgive her for everything. It's not just because she doesn't understand what music is to me, but more than anything, I still don't know if I really like senpai. I can't deny that I went out with her just because I was happy that she liked me. It's painful for her to keep apologizing to me when I feel that way. And then there's that thing with Minori. I know senpai isn't directly responsible, but Minori is an important childhood friend of mine. I can't forgive Senpai that easily, and I don't want to go to school in such an awkward situation. Thinking rashly, going to school might solve something, but I don't feel like going out. I have enough money to last a lifetime. I know my actions right now will betray their feelings, but I tried hard, so I think I should be allowed to do this. I lay on my bed. Minori won't come. Nobody will interrupt me. That means that there's no one that wants to help me or wants me to get back up. I try not to think about it, because it's easier that way. Hmm. Even though I'm depressed, I want to go to sleep. I can't sleep forever. My body's awake. I didn't eat anything. Even if I'm running away from reality, I don't want to ignore my health. I head to the kitchen. I don't have many ingredients, and I'm too lazy to cook right now. I could make cup noodles, but it'd be bad for my health. It feels weird for me to care about my body at a time like this. I wonder if I still have some. I open the drawer below the sink. Put all the food that doesn't need to be cooked here. <laughs> there it is. I take the cereal out. There are two boxes. Which one should I eat? What the hell is meat flavored cereal? <laughs> I don't know. He's depressed, so we're going with bitter cereal, though. I take out the bitter tasting cereal. It's called A Bit Bitter Yellow Mixed with White Nebula. <laughs> what? <laughs> so stupid. It sounds wrong. I guess the yellow is the cereal and the white's the milk? Popular among women. It's advertised as such on the package, but women must have strange tastes if it's true. Anyway, let's eat now. I pour the cereal into a bowl and open my refrigerator to take out some milk. <laughs> Not there. I am astonished that there's no milk when I pour the cereal already. Has something like this ever happened to you? This isn't the time to be joking. I feel like just eating cup noodles, but I'm committed to eating the cereal now. I guess I'll go to the store to buy food. I look at the clock. It's almost 4 o'clock. Senpai might come visit me if I'm at my house at this time. I don't want to see Senpai. I guess I'll go outside to avoid her. I head for the store. Well, I'm done shopping. I don't want to go home just yet. Senpai might be waiting at my house. Yeah, hey, you got milk there, dude. You need to put it in the fridge. I could spend some time at the park. No, don't take your milk to the park. I bought some bread so I can eat some there, too. 
I head to the park. Hmm. I lean back and eat my bread while looking up at the sky. This feels good. It feels like I'm living freely. I'm living right now. I can feel that strongly. So if people feel this lively just by having their comp uh, confinement removed? I think I know what a college student feels like now. Maybe I can live like this every day. Finish eating my bread and lay sideways on the bench. Feels good, but it's a bit cold. Well, it is still March. Cold wind mixes in with the warm weather. I don't think I'll catch cold even if I sleep here. I decide to go home after I take a nap. Hmm? There's something stuck on the door. Did I miss a package delivery or something? But it's thin paper. It looks like it's been ripped out of a notebook. I take the paper and open it. There's fine writing. This is some good handwriting. This person must have had a teacher on writing. I read it. Ryokun, I was waiting here since I wanted to talk to you, but I'll be, I will go home since you don't seem to be coming back. So, Senpai was waiting for me. There is more to the letter. I'll come again tomorrow. I intend to keep coming until you can forgive me. It might be a bother, but please excuse my impoliteness. So she does intend to keep coming here. It's painful for me to see her apologizing. Maybe I'll need to be out of the house when she comes. I take the letter and... Put it in my desk drawer. I put the memo inside my desk. I guess there's no need to keep it, but I'll feel less guilty if I do so. Well, I enjoyed my freedom for today. I guess I'll do the same tomorrow. It's a bit early, but I'll go to bed and read some books. I start to feel drowsy after a while, but I feel good today. I feel like I'm liberated. Should I keep doing this from now on? I guess I don't have to worry about that. Good night. Nice. All right. Well, I know it's a touch early, but I think I'm going to go ahead and call it good for today. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you all next time.